Our wonderful book today was gifted to us by the very talented author, Andrea Coke. Hello boys and girls, it's Auntie Mimi here. Today our wonderful book is from the Molly Morningstar collection and it's called A Doll For Me. Sounds fun, doesn't it? If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do so now. Then sit back, get comfortable and let's begin. Molly peeks over her mama's shoulder. Hurry mama, what does it say? I will read it to you, says Mama. To Molly Morningstar, it's my birthday. I'm having a tea party. I hope you can come. My mum's baking a cake and you can have some. Bring your favourite doll for a really great time as a super special guest of mine. Love, Emma. Yippee! I love going to Emma's house, shouts Molly. She has lots of toys. Molly runs to her room. Come on, Boomer, help me choose my best doll. Molly looks around for a special doll to take to the party. She looks on her shelf. She looks in her toy box. She even looks under her bed. Boomer helps by nudging a doll with his nose. How about this one, he seems to say. You sure have made a mess, Mama says. Which doll have you chosen? I don't want to take any of these dolls to the party, moans Molly. Molly looks at herself in the mirror. Emma has lots of pretty dolls and they all look like her. I wish I had a doll that looks like me. Molly and her mum go shopping for a new doll. The nice lady in the shop says, This is our number one best doll. Molly looks at the doll. She looks at a long row of dolls on the shelf. She shakes her head. No, these dolls all look the same. Molly and her mama look online. Nope, nothing here, says Mama. Just take what you have. It's just a doll. It's not a big deal. Molly feels sad. At breakfast, Molly only eats half of her pancakes. She doesn't touch her chocolate milk. Her papa asks, What's wrong, Molly Morningstar? I can't find the right doll to take to the party. My dolls look like Emma, not me. Papa says, don't worry, kiddo. Maybe one day we will find a doll that looks like you. I know what I'll do, shouts Molly. I'll make my own doll. But you don't know how to make a doll, says Mama. You'll see, Molly answers quietly. While Mama takes a nap, Molly is eager to get started. Let's see. Molly says to Boomer, where shall we begin? I know, Mama's junk drawer. Molly pulls the handle. The drawer is stuck, she says to Boomer. Boomer tugs and tugs, then yank. The drawer pops open and everything tumbles out. Look, it's your favourite sock, says Molly. Boomer wags his tail. And Mama's earrings and candy. Boomer helps Molly haul their treasures into the playroom. He watches as Molly bends and cuts and glues and stuffs and paints. Hmm, says Molly, looking in the mirror. Now she needs hair. Boomer yelps, then leaps out of the room. Molly runs after him. Perfect. Mama's knitting yarn. Perfect, Molly and Boomer carry away, heaping piles of yarn. Thump! A big spool of shimmery brown yarn topples to the floor. Molly, what a mess, says Mama. Sorry, Mama, but look at my doll. She looks just like me. While Molly cleans up the mess, she holds a new doll in her arms and softly sings. 
We're going to a party. How exciting this will be. We are perfect twins, I'm sure you can see. We will go together to have a joyous day, feeling oh, so grateful as we love and laugh and play. After dinner, Molly puts the final touches on her doll. Ta-da! This doll is lucky to have you, kiddo, says Papa. The day of the party, Molly eats all of her pancakes. She finishes her chocolate milk. She tidies her room without being told. Boomer skips along with Molly on the way to Emma's house. Happy birthday, Emma, Molly says cheerfully. Let's have some tea, says Emma. Your doll looks just like you, Emma says. Molly is so proud. I made her. Ruff, ruff, adds Boomer. Molly laughs. That means he helped too. Everyone loves Molly's new doll. I love her hair, says Farah. You match, says Sam. Can I hold her? asks we. Look at mine, says Teddy. The friends take turns pouring tea. They munch the cookies and gobble the cake. They sing happy birthday. They squeal when Emma opens her gifts and gets another new doll. Molly wishes she could stay longer, but the party is over. My friends love my doll, she tells Mama. Your doll is perfect, Molly Morningstar. She is one of a kind, just like you. Well, that was a wonderful fun book today, wasn't it, boys and girls? I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. As always, be kind to one another, look after one another and try and have some fun every single day. Until next time, bye-bye.